Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, yesterday I uh, was out here and I seen these aphids, I believe, on this um, plant, this Hoya plant in front of my house. And I didn't know what to do with it. And a dear friend, Colin and Lily, from Higgs Rock Farm just called me or just texted me when I put this video up and told me to make some milk and put it milk and water and put it on them so I want to show you what I did so I poured the milk and water on all these little guys and I, I'm gonna have to find out how often to do it probably I'll probably do it again in the morning <coughs> But, uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. It looks like they're falling off of it already. So, I'm going to make sure I drench every bit of this plant so that it'll kill them. Um, Holland told me that it, that they can't, uh, they can't process the sugar. So, I'm excited to see if this works. I hope it does. So I went ahead and uh, this is the jar that I mixed it up in. I went ahead and drowned in the whole thing with it. Hopefully that will work and get rid of those dudes, at least on that plant. Now that I know this, if it works really good. I am going to do it other places. Oh, I'm going to have to do it here too because this is the Hoya that Miss Lily gave me, and it's got them on it too. I don't know why it's going after the aphids. I mean, aphids are going after the Hoyas, but. <clears throat> yep, see? They're underneath here too. One, the phone's not focusing properly. But. It's kind of disgusting, so I want to go ahead and get that taken care of. I'm going to go mix up some more in that jar and drown this one. But before I do that, I want to say, oh, and look at my new little plant. I don't know if I showed you guys this plant yet or not. I got that on on sale at the uh, at the Walmart on on uh, Markdown, and I think it's really kind of cute. I like those little feathery ends of the flowers. But anyways, um, y'all know I have a terrible time with the aphids and the beans. So, I will know. I think I'm going to get me a special spray bottle that I can spray it with um, to do that. Also, on another note, uh, we've had a tragic death in our family. My daughter's... Uh, other half is passed away Sunday morning and uh, we've been, we've been coping with that and uh, we all got stomach bug now so we could use all the purrs that we could get just saying um, David's sick with it I'm sick with it uh, baby Connor's got it Lance has got it so, it, it's just a bug going around, and uh, I'm hoping that it passes fast. So, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to add that in there and ask y'all to pray for us. This video probably won't go out until tomorrow because... Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about trying to finish it up, but uh, everything around here is looking really nice. I just can't afford to get, I can't, I can't be for, I can't afford to be sick anymore. So y'all say a prayer for me. Thank you. Okay. So I made it out here in the garden. Looks like that's going to make it into a squash. Yay. I hope I get lots more. Anyways. 
There's a lot of male flowers on here, but I don't see many female flowers. And I thought there was one on there, but I guess not. Oh. And of course, more of those stinking bugs. And looky here, little baby beans. I'm so happy to see that. <clears throat> I'll be harvesting beans soon. Here's another yellow squash. <laughs> that just tickles me pink. Okay, so I put it on the beans over here. That, the climbing beans. That's the one set the aphids was on over here so pretty good so far I'm going to get rid of that wild blackberry and I've got more uh, more squash coming out down there yay lots of squash oh, my goodness gracious And a tomato ripe. Okay, I had to sit down. I hate being sick. But check this out. Beans. I've got I've got uh green bean I mean uh peas. And um I learned that they are ready pretty much. I mean sorry guys, check that out. Yummy. So I'm gonna pull these off and see how many I can get. Okay, so this is about the extent of my harvest today. And uh, hopefully I'll get a pretty good amount. I'm gonna go in there and shuck them and see how many there is. Put them in the freezer. Well, folks, my first uh, harvest of peas I was munching on them, though, the, the other day, so maybe that's my second harvest. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just, I want to say, I've never done this before, so some of these are kind of small, but that don't matter. In fact, I even thought about maybe making a salad and putting them in there. That would be so good. They're so super sweet. They're delicious, and I can't wait to grow these from now on. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. I just want to say thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.